Hi, it's Leslie, Married at First Sight, Kirsten and Shaquille. We have known something has been up with them, and finally we find out what it is with this little confession from Shaquille. Kirsten and I have consummated our marriage. Oh! I knew it. I knew something was up with them. They've been so weird with each other, which I will get into. But I think I know when this all went down, if you remember also. You trust me? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. You sure? Uh-huh. You sure? Uh-huh. You sure? Uh-huh. Tell me what you put up on me. You got me going crazy. Tell me what you put up on me. That had to be the night. You can't have that happen and then just walk into the other room, hop into bed and go, oh, nighty night and roll over and go to sleep. That is the night it happened. And if I remember correctly, that was like a good couple of weeks ago that they've been hiding this, which explains all the issues now that have arisen from having consummated their marriage. And no offense, but I'm just going to call it as I saw it. But it's like Shaquille has turned into the girl. Like it's like usually when two people get together and they get intimate. It's usually the girl then that has expectations and feels a certain kind of way and expects them to do this or that. And then if they don't, you're all mad and everything like this. Well, it's been Shaquille that's been like that. And we've been going like, why is he so? Now we understand. Because I guess Shaquille had a work event and went away for the weekend. And this was a big bone of contention that Kirsten did not um, accompany him on that trip. Kirsten's like the freaking mayor. She just says the right thing. Yes, and him to death. You know, she wants to play to the camera like she's always supportive, doing all the things and everything. I would have been there if I knew you really needed me there, but I guess he asked her but didn't want to beg. I don't blame him, whatever like that. Um, but then, you know, the very cute uh, therapist dude comes in and kind of puts Shaquille on the spot and asks him this question. Do you feel supported in the marriage? Mm, not at certain times. It's, it's, it's a yes or a no. No. That would be a big ol' ouch. Shaquille is not feeling supportive, you know? Equally inflated by the fact that they've slept together so he has higher standards and higher expectations now for his, his lovely wife. Usually the girl's like that, but you know, I give it to Shaquille. I, I've always liked him. Anyway. So they're moving along, but they are struggling. They are also struggling. And it's and, and I have to give this to Kirsten. So Shaquille had a big issue because I guess when he went away for that weekend, he found out that he wouldn't be graduating on time, which was a big issue for him. I understand that. He was upset. But you can't put that on Kirsten. She didn't know that was going to happen. So you can't lay that also on her. Like, he seems very needy, whatever. But um, she's, she's not a... She's not supporting him in the way he, he needs. So I don't know if that's going to be a deal breaker. I don't know. My feeling of Kirsten, she's a sly one. I can't really read her. She's a little like whatever. Kind of, I feel like she's just playing to the camera and just saying all the right things so she doesn't end up looking like just like whatever. But um, we, we saw a little insight when she talked with Shaquille's mom, who obviously gets the lowdown from her son. I love their relationship. I, I mean, people married for 20 years don't have that good a relationship with their in-laws. So, you know, props to them for getting this one going off the ground. But anyway, um, she like pretty much laid it all out. You are not supportive enough. I don't know what you're doing over there, but you are not supportive enough. Maybe it's too much talk, not enough action. I don't know. But uh, you wonder how much they're, they've uh, continued their, their sex life after. Because you'd think that would kind of smooth things over. It usually does. It kind of like just makes everything nice that she wasn't there. Be like, oh, okay, honey. I don't know. So, but we'll never get those details, unfortunately. So there you go. This was a weird one. Um, it's almost like sex and consummating the marriage has uh, brought a whole new host of expectations and um, issues for them. I don't know. I don't know. She kills a cute one, though. He deserves a great girl. The Kirsten, she just seems so like elusive and a little mysterious and kind of not so, I don't know, a little devious. Not really loving her, but whatever. Anyway, if you like my recap, I'm here every week. Please subscribe and help my little channel. Anyway, and I will see you next week. Bye.